Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Hora Drak and we are playing Age of Wonders 3 together as Aeneas, Seeker of Wisdom. Welcome back. Uh, in the last episode I wanted to attack these guys, I've been wanting to do that for a long time. And now the day has finally come, we're gonna do it and we're gonna have fun doing it. In the last episode I gained a really cool um, scepter of air control that does have the um, thunder strike ability on it. That's really cool. Now, how do I do this? How do I play this? Got a healing ability. I'm gonna put that on Yorati because he's down to two on health. Um, yeah, we still won't be able to get any one of these guys, so it's fine. Um, I got the mass bless from the. Um, Wizard Tower Ruins the last time. That is a really, really potent spell. Plus two defense, plus two resistance, and 300 happiness. And because the leader is present, this has double cost. So normally, I think this will cost 12 or something. <laughs> um, so we're gonna use that all of the time. Especially for the more important battles. So let's end it, let's see what they do. They are not coming towards me, which suits me fine, I guess. Let's cut off the Tiger and Sun Guard. Hmm, that's shitty. Oh well then. Let's do that. Let's bring you over. Attack these poor dwarven uh, prospectors. That can happen. And let's end the turn. I'm gonna go after my Elder Tora now. Which is not gonna go well for them. Now, oh, I have to bring up the speed a bit. Elder Toros are really intimidating creatures. I think they are. They might be the best tier 4 units together with the Dread Reapers. Although they are all pretty good, but I think that the Warlords, Medical Riders, might be the weakest of them all. I just feel that they don't really pack that much of a punch. Although, gotta say, I've only met a couple of them. And the ones that Jane has sent against us were okay, I would say. I'm gonna take over these engineers. That can never hurt. Uh, we're gonna kill the prospectors. We got still that phantasm warrior. Come on. You also gotta do something. You have to pull your own weight. Okay, at least we could do it theoretically. Okay. Alright then. 59 gold. Yeah, it's, it's not riches, but... Oh well, and then we're gonna go after this node as well. Very likely victory. Let's just get in there. Do our thing. You're a level 10 guy. I think you should be able to get the Thunderstorm very soon. Oh yeah, these air nodes do have a bit of a problem with the projectiles. Hmm, and the projectiles against the wisps won't work at all. At least we're gonna apply the physical damage. And then we got the spirit guy. Should be vulnerable to spirit. I definitely wanna apply the, the broken spirit and the daze to the level three fire, uh, air elemental so that I can get it. Uh, let's bring up the phantasm warrior. Phantasm warrior. The biggest problem of the phantasm warriors is that they are too slow. They're just too slow. They are very good tier 2 units. I'll say, pack a hell of a punch. Oi! Leave your Rady in peace. That's, that's not nice. That's really not nice. I mean, if I were to do that to you, you would look properly, properly weirded out. Yeah. Hit me. Bite me. Is that the tier 3 elemental? Yes, it is. Okay. So, 
Looks like I won't even be able to break the spirit of this guy. Definitely gotta try to dominate it. Let's hope that it works. Yes! Okay, yes, perfect, perfect. Let's kill those wisps. And now I got my air elemental. And that air elemental can't do anything. Okay, then defend, defend, it's fine. That's really good because the air elemental is floating as well, so it's, it's gonna strengthen this army to a good degree, actually. Um, yeah, that's, that's Hiliarati. And I wanna. Ooh, okay. So. I'm gonna kill that wisp. Oh, and you already leveled up, so it doesn't really matter what we do here. So let's use the Eldritch Horror to, to go after these guys. And then I still got the Air Elemental. I can go after the Baby Shock Serpents over there. Okay. Good. I mean, it won't be dedicated to good, but I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take everything that I can get. Um, can you kill those guys? I think so. You already leveled up, but more experience on our hero is never wrong. How much do you need? Well, nah, that wasn't enough. Kill that uh, elemental. Let's be done with it. Okay, so that is the best possible outcome. Got that guy for our army. And they're quite strong, the elementals, especially when they level up. What do you get? Static shield. That is that is crazy. Everything that attacks them will get um, will have a chance to be stunned. So that's that's really really good. Now we've got five points over here, and I'm gonna save him because I think that at level twelve, yeah, I think it is level twelve that we get the thunderstorm. And then let's get off these guys. It would be nice to get the Halfling Warbreed as well. If only to put them in that city. Okay. Let's go in. We've got Mass Curse. But we don't really care about it too much, I don't think. So that's the Warbreed. I have to bring down the defenses of the Warbreed. So... Yeah, I wanted I wanted its spirit broken. Come on, guy. Yeah. It's lucky. No, nope, no spirit broken, but it is dazed. I guess I have to do some healing here. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we're going to send you against the the orc spearmen. And that it's actually working as intended. Should we finish off the goblin skewers? I mean, I could I could take over the goblin skewers, but they aren't really very good. So I'd rather just kill them. The editor can't inflict stunning now, can they? No, I I think they would too OP if they could do that as well. <laughs> that would just be crazy. Uh, what makes the Phantasm Warriors so strong is actually their incorporeability. They just ignore 60% of all physical damage that comes their way. And that is that is really, really strong. Um, they do get shock protection and tireless at elite. Yeah, it could be better. It could definitely be better. But it could also be worse. So I'm not going to be too miffed about it. Okay, so the Warbreed is trying to go after after our hero here. Let's try to break its spirit now. Oh, lucky bastard. And again, no spirit breaking there. Let's bring you over. I don't want to kill it though. <laughs> I don't want to kill that thing. Um, 55%. It's likely that I get it. So, 3 times 8 is 18. I could 
do damage for either 18 or 39 damage. But if I stun it, um, then we will do way more damage to it. And there is actually a chance that we kill it. So I'm, I'm just going to try to um, to dominate it with the Eldritch Horror. Yeah, yeah. Attack that thing and then get panicked. That's a very common theme. Okay. Shit. It didn't work. <laughs> well, that can happen. Die then. Or not. Or not. Yeah. It's your choice, really. It's your choice. Finish the spearman. That leveled up the air elemental. What do you get? Oh, just hit points and more shock strength. Still cool. Okay, Phantasm Warrior leveled up. Let's see how this goes. That guy had a bit of a regrowth going. Hmm. Let's bring you over. They're just too slow. Too damn slow. So you leveled up. You're champion level 1 now, which is good. I definitely want to want to dole out some healing. Um, looks like it needs to go to the Phantasm Warrior, although the Air Elemental might profit from it. Yeah, let's give it to the Air Elemental. Then let's finish off those skewers. I wouldn't mind if you got the experience for killing the War Breed. Well, maybe not, but oh well. <laughs> let's see how it goes. Yeah, try to attack your Roddy. That's not gonna help you. Can we do it now is the question though. Yes, we could. Um, anyone else needs to level up? Well, could try it. Mm, now they got broken spirit. That can only be used once per battle. Okay, then. Mm, I could cast. That might not be a bad idea, actually. Yarati also needs the um, healing. But the heroes are fast healing. Mm, I would waste a bit of it. Let's do that. Hmm. You're gonna get the kill. Okay, and we're done here. I took too much time with this thing. I'm sorry. All right then, so a couple of guys leveled up. And now we're going to move south, I think. Because there are a couple of things that I that I want to free. Or oh, should I go west? Yeah, that, that might be better. Go in that direction, it's not Bad. We've got these engineers. Just gonna send them into that city. I wonder what Slitterskoy is doing around that city. If he's planning to attack me or, or what his idea is. Well, let's bring our let's bring our apprentices in there. Um, none of the units of Janus will be particularly useful to us because they're all um, dedicated to neutral and are therefore going to be very unhappy. Um, so well, we just have to live with it, but I, I won't really try to dominate more of the Morphous guys than I have to. At least we're paying gold for them and not mana. Now we got you and you got a special, you got a special task. I'm gonna make a road down here. Yes, we do. Okay. Nothing to queue up. Just gonna end the turn, then we're gonna get Chaos Rift. Alrighty. Domain invasion at Wadrindur. Yeah, that is what I was expecting. The Kraken is not going to help us. Okay, then. I thought that would happen. Okay. Good thing is, I got all my casting points. All of them, so I I can do a lot. Question is, do I really need to do it? 
That is that is my question here. I mean, I can hold a cure one of them or the other. Do I really need to though? No one is no one is really hurt. You're a bit hurt. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, the mass bless. It wouldn't go amiss. Don't get me wrong. We do have okayish defenses. What do we get? Inflict severely poisoned. Um, you should have the um, noxious stench. No, no. Oh, because we didn't produce you. Normally, our all our goblin big beetles have plus five health and noxious stench, but doesn't seem like they have it. So that's kind of a shame. Hmm. Yeah, well, let's let's heal that guy. And what else can we do? I could give star blades to someone. I'm gonna give star blades to the archangel. Okay, and then let them come. Let them come towards us. They are attacking. Ah, don't curse my archangel, you fools! I could, I could take out that Archon Caster. I mean, actually, I don't, I don't really care about the Archangel surviving or not because it's going to resurge anyway if I am victorious. It's an if. It's an if. That's true. I could just magic fist these guys. And I'm going to, because I'm mean. Goodbye. And then let's bring the Eldritch Horror and dish out some shock damage over here. Holy crap, that was a crit hit to all of them. Yeah, we're, we're doing pretty well, I get the feeling. Hmm. So I'm gonna come over here and then we're gonna sprint to take out that infantry right away. And then let's bring up the Goblin Big Beetle to give them another target on the side over there. I can't reach anyone yet. I've still got the phase though. I can also phase the Archangel out of danger. If it needs to happen. Yeah, yeah. Try to go after the Eldritch Horror. You're not gonna have any fun doing that. All right, yeah, this is this is going largely as planned. Okay, got the apprentices here. I'm gonna shoot that Titan. Ooh, that's not looking good for you, Titan. That's not looking good at all. Looks like you're gonna die, and it's gone. Goodbye. Goodbye. Um, I can't do anything with you, but I can get rid of these casters. Then we're gonna end. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're you're the best. You're really, really strong. Yes, killing two tier four units in one battle has to level you up. <laughs> if it doesn't, something is wrong. Okay. And the most important unit that we have is the Eldritch Horror. And this guy al already does the Inflict Stun, so there's no real rush, I guess. I... Yeah, I can only use this once per battle. You don't have it. I mean, I could do some Holy Curing here. I'm not sure if I'm going to. They're gonna heal naturally. I have to I have to look after my after my things here. Okay, so goodbye. This went well, I think. This went really well. I'm happy. Bit sad that the Kraken didn't help us, but oh <laughs> well. <laughs> I guess he was he was cheering from the side. Go for them! You can do it! I'm just gonna chill out in the water. Okay, so we've got Insulated boots. 
Fine, you, you already got them on. Okay, that's good. You deserted, really. You son of a gun. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. Deserted. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna kill you. Desertion is not something that we that we want in our land. Oh, and the humans leveled up. Hooray! That's what we want. That's what we want. Um, I guess we're gonna go for that. We've got an island map here. The main invasion has. Oh yeah, these guys. You leveled up. What are we gonna do with you? You're level ten. Hmm. Yeah, I, I need to bring her towards um, towards casting more. She does inflict stun and inflict spirit breaking, but I kind of need to upgrade her army as well. So, I guess we're gonna go for the magic affinity. The projectile reflection is also nice, I think. I mean, it's not it's not critical, but it's nice. As is the spirit shield and magic affinity and all that. Charged army she already has. It's not critical. It's not critical at all. Spirit shield is pretty good, but it's only one damage channel. I think magic affinity is the stronger choice. We're gonna go for that. Okay then, um, we produce a settler over here. That's that's great. I want you into the water. You guys are gonna join that army. That army can't move anymore. And uh, then we got the chaos rift researched. Great. Um, let's go for banish. And we're gonna join off, uh, off the, from these guys. Um. Yeah, I guess so. Come on, join my, join my empire. I'm gonna do interesting things with you. We're gonna be the garrison of the city, but I guess we're going to migrate this to humans as well. Which is mean, but <laughs> these guys are gonna get. Um, Ooh, that's bad, but I want to get the humans up. We're gonna use the goblins to settle all the underground. Um, and I'm gonna, gonna look after all these things in the next episode because I really have to end it here. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please give me a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, then please consider subscribing if you aren't already. So you never miss an episode. I do hope that you join me next time. Thanks and bye bye.